Today on Mike Attempts, repairing a trash pump. Here we have another freebie from a generous guy who has given me many broken tools. This trash pump had been stored outside, and at some point, someone forgot to put the gas cap back on. Some twigs and male pine cones made it in there, but most was caught by the tank strainer. There's fuel, but it doesn't look good. And it has a distinct smell of feet. At first, I didn't know what was sticking out of the line, but it's an inline fuel strainer. There was a good bit of water in the tank. Once drained, I can see areas of stuff that kind of looks like rusty mud. I would usually use BBs and white vinegar to clean the inside of the tank but the fuel port is too small to get them back out. First, I tried slashing around some mineral spirits and letting it soak, but it was only somewhat effective. Next, I tried white vinegar, which helped a little, but not enough. I ended up adding an extension to the handle of a wire brush to scrub off what I could reach. This thing must not be that old. The air filter is pretty clean and it isn't falling apart. The spark plug looks almost brand new. It either has very low hours or it was serviced after its last job. I'm sure the cylinder is a bit dry, so I blasted some WD-40 in there. From what I can see, the top of the piston is very clean. Hmm, no spark. It usually helps if you turn it on. There we go. The inside of the carb looks really clean and the choke moves freely. There's some corrosion in the bottom of the float bowl, but it's not bad. And a little water in the fuel, but that's to be expected since the gas cap wasn't on.
I cleaned up the bowl and reinstalled it using the same gasket. Everything looks so good, I'm not even going to bother removing the carb unless I have problems getting it started. The spark arrestor screen is clean too. Let's take a look inside the pump. Yikes, not looking too good in here. Luckily, most of the rust was light and flaky. The impeller spins fine. Before blowing it off, I'm going to reinstall the air filter to keep out the dust. Much better. The remainder is just surface rust. I cleaned the seals as best I could before reassembling the pump housing. Even though this machine seems to be in really good shape, I'm still going to change the oil. No, I didn't spill my glitter in there. Those are tiny flecks of metal. The fuel strainer cleaned up easily. The carb cleaner straw fit perfectly into the hole. Starts easy and seems to run well, but you're not supposed to run the pump without water, so I kept it short. Let's test it out. This is the deepest water on my property, so it'll have to do. I primed the pump with plenty of water.
The discharge hose is starting to fill up. But I was only getting a trickle out of the end. I'm sure some of you guys have the same problem. I thought maybe the pump was too high, so I took it down next to the water and tried again. Now it's working. Feel free to rate this video, add your comments and questions below, and subscribe for more.